Hello and welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. So today is Coloring Sock Miss with Make 2023. Haha, <laughs> yesterday I said 2024. Whoops. And today is day 19. I'm so excited. Now, this is my least favorite stocking in this entire book. I am not sure what it is, but we will get to that. And for those of you who are new, we are coloring through this book every day. And once we are done on day 25, we will have a completed coloring book. And while coloring this, I'm trying to use different mediums throughout. Um, I'm not going to go over what mediums they are today. But here's a quick little flip. If you want to know all the different mediums, um, you can watch any of these videos. They are all up on my channel. But today we are going to use ink tents again. And somebody suggested on this thin type of paper, instead of using the Tombow water-based markers, um, the alcohol marker works better. So I'm going to use the Ohuhu Colorless Blender. And this is the one that we have no clue what it is. Grapes, I'm coloring them as pine cones. I gotta sharpen this. I should have done it ahead, sorry. Anyway, we're gonna use oak, which is 1730. And yeah, I have this washi tape that I am going to put around and then I have a green that we are going to do on the base of it. And I don't know yet what I'm going to do with the 19. So I am going to take this and I'm going to just go like so. Not color all the way to the end. Kind of like what we did with the Christmas lights. yeah to me this is not a exciting one um so i didn't know how to make it exciting i mean what more can you do with pine cones i guess you could put glitter on the ends of them like some people do you could do that um yeah i don't know even know what to talk about Yeah, no idea. Um, I know, let's talk about games. Do you guys play games with your family and friends? Games meaning like card games, board games. Not, excuse me. <coughs> I'm not talking about video games. What are some of your favorite games to play? We have a family game. Um that I learned as a little child and I, it's one of my favorites. It's called Liverpool Rummy. It's like a lot like phase 10, um, but there's other different rules and things. Um, that's probably one of my absolute favorite games. Um, I do like Rage, that one is fun. Um, the new Uno, Uno, um, what's it called? Uno Flip. That one is fun. If you haven't played that, it's a lot of fun. Um, it has like two sides to it. And so if somebody puts a flip card, you have to flip the, your cards over. So you may have plans with the cards you were looking at. But, and the colors are different on the back. And there's different uh, wild cards and things like that. It's fun. Different roles, of course. Anyway. Um... Let's see, what other game? All right, I tried. I don't know how to get all this off. I've tried. I'm hoping because it's brown, it, the blue won't show up because you see there's blue on there. And the lead keeps sinking in. So we're going to go dark to light. Like so. Not really working as like I thought it would. It's kind of just coloring it all brown, isn't it? Oh well. 
did the first one. So we need to use less color. So let's see, what other ones do I like? Um, Scategories. Do you guys play Scategories? That's a fun one. That's more of a board game. You have a dice that has um, letters of the alphabet on it. And so you have, you do a letter, somebody rolls the alphabet dice and it picks a letter and then you have a list of questions and then you have to, the answers have to all start with that letter and you have like so many minutes to fill it in. It's a lot of fun. Different, but fun. Let's see if we can do this one a little bit less brown. See if that helps. Let's see what other game do I like to play. Telestrations, have you ever played that? That's a fun one. It's kind of like Pictionary. Um, it's a combination of Pictionary and Telephone. If you're too young to know what telephone is, I'm so sorry. Um, but it's fun. Um, I'm not one that plays like the uh, the board games, like the like what's the one Dungeons and Dragons, like that kind of stuff, role playing board games is that what they're called I don't know I, those aren't my type of board games of course I like playing um sorry and all those trouble those are always fun um I really like playing we call it hand and foot but some people call it canasta that's one of my favorites I'm guessing you can guess that I really like card games. Yeah, I would prefer a card game over anything else. I'm just gonna finish coloring these. <laughs> what other games are there? Well, there's phase 10. That one is fun. There is uh, Skippo. That one's fun. Uh, my in-laws taught us a new one called Sky Joe. That one is a lot of fun. Those are all card games. Uh, Rummy Cube. Um, that is one of the games. Um, I got this little travel set. So they were little tiny little ones for my mom and I to play in the hospital or in our... We actually took it down to the lobby in the hotel we were living in while we did laundry. When she could. Eventually she couldn't go down with me. But, yeah, that was fun. Um, I'm not a huge Scrabble player. I mean, I don't mind playing it on my phone. Like the Word game. It's called Word, right? I think it's called Word. Anyway, that one. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, I played this game once with a friend of mine. She had it and it's called um, Dice Capades. That one's really fun. This is a different one. So let's see if this one works better. See, now it's not bringing the color down. So what do we do? What do we do? Let's see. So it needs more color. That's not the right color. That was green. So it needs more color. I can't add to those until they're dry. And we will go back to the one we had because it seemed to work better. 
wish I had one that had to haven't tried out yet. There's another one. This one's fairly clean. I could try that one. I'll try, I'll try that one. I keep all my colorless blender alcohol markers in a drawer because to be honest, okay, let's all be honest. Do you guys use them very often? I don't. I was watching uh, Lucy Just Adds Color. I was watching hers and she used it to remove color. I didn't know. Yeah. I've, I've tried that. Like if I go over the lines, I have tried that. But, um, it doesn't usually work for me. My computer said hello. So, yeah. Games. We're talking about games. What other games are there? Let me think. Um, oh, um, you know, there's always Solitaire. And uh, I used to play a game with my friend um, growing up. She called it Nerds and we called it Demon. It's basically like double Solitaire. It's a speed game for sure. That one's fun. That's a good game for two people. All right, let's try this again. Here we go. There we go. I'd say that marker just did not work right. But, oh well. For the green, we will do something a little bit different. But yeah, what games do you guys like to play? Maybe I'll learn of a new one to try. I keep forgetting the stems. Why do I keep forgetting the stems? think um, um there's always monopoly that one's always fun or the game of life i loved playing the game of life growing up that was one of my favorites i just like playing games now there are games i do not like to play and i just feel really dumb when i play them it was called um balderdash yeah, I did not like that game. I am not good at making up definitions. There's another one that's called Library, similar to it. And you make up like the, give you a title and you have to write the synopsis of it or whatever. Yeah, no, not me at all.
so anyway so now the green so we're gonna take this and we're gonna go over the whole thing just with this light layer I'm not using any pressure I'm just coloring it I think I'm missing what games I'm, I'm not mentioning. Aggravation. I loved playing that one growing up. I was never a big checkers or fan, and I never learned how to play chess. So those, no. Um, Yahtzee. Oh, I do like to play Yahtzee, but I'm a numbers person. I really like numbers. And then speaking of games, do you guys like the um, word games and the puzzle books that you can get at the store, like the word search and the Sudoku? And I personally like the variety puzzle ones. Of course, my husband says all I do is cheat <laughs> looking in the back, but hey, it works. I enjoy it. Um... But, all right, so we've got a light layer going all over it. So now I'm going to do another layer um, over the parts I want to be darker. Like so. Now this may not work, but I'm hoping it does. So we want this one that, to be darker. And then let's go darker under here. You know, the lip of the stocking here. I think we are going to use some stickles. I think I've decided that. Inside the nine. We'll make it darker. Here. Maybe going down a little bit this way. I don't know, maybe the heel. All right, let's see what happens here. That's the wrong end. I'm tempted to go back to my water base one that I was using. Get off what I had on there. I'm going back to my Tombow here. See which one I like better. So I'm gonna start on the light though this time. Start on the light and go into the darker. And then get some of the green off. Go into the darker. Start on the light. Now, if I would have left it like without any color, I would start in the dark to bring the dark out, but I didn't. So we are just going to color. Little circles, because I don't want to see the lines of the pencil, the coloring lines. No, I do not. Okay, so we're going to go into the darker.
looking all right. I can still see the, the pencil marks. I don't like that. And I don't know how to, like I'm good with small areas. It's the large areas I have troubles with. Any pointers? I've tried like, I don't know. I've tried a lot of things. It doesn't look horrible, but it doesn't look good. See, like right there. So now what, we do another layer or what? Like up here, it looks great. I don't know what I did though. But I don't know what I did. But I don't like the way it looks. But it has to dry. So while it's drying, we're gonna do the washi tape. I got my washi cutter. See how this looks. I was trying to find something. I have nothing Christmassy that's brown. So I thought, okay, let's do a plaid. Yeah. Plaid works. Not sure where I got this. I think I've had it for a while. Don't quote me on that. I have so much washi tape. You know me, I like moving my book around with my washi tape. Sorry if that drives people crazy. Sorry, making noises with my mouth. I do that. All right. I still don't feel like it's dry all the way. I don't know. Try it. That kind of looks better right there. Maybe I don't need to re-wet it. Maybe we'll just leave it dry. That is looking a lot better. What do you guys think? Well, I'm already way over my time. That's why I didn't want to do, I don't want to do pencils because I take forever. Not that I'm a slow colorist, but I like things to look a certain way. So, Yeah. 
Should I try activating it again? See what it looks like? We could try it. Hopefully it doesn't make a hole in the book. I'm not really barely putting any pressure with the marker. It does look a lot better. I will have to say. Much better. Ta da! There it is. Now, should we do stickles? I think I'm going to do a brown. We'll do brown real quick. And then we're gonna go over it with the stickles. So sorry, this video is gonna be a little bit longer. But this page is so boring. I want it to be fun. Like all the other pages. We're just going to use a clear, like um, Stardust or Crystal or Diamond, one of those. So I don't have any brown ones anyway. So here is my handy dandy washi tape case. And let's see. Let's use this. What is this? Stardust. Artist. That is what we will be using. I got my handy dandy uh, scrap paper over here. Uh -huh. So, do you guys remember in school when you would get a pine cone and you would put glue on the end and then you would put glitter on it or snow to make it look pretty? Send it home with you. I remember doing it. Decorating your pine cone. What did I say? Did I say pine cone earlier? I don't know what I said. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We are decorating our pine cones. I'm going to need to invest in some more stickles. The colors and the ones that I have are getting low. This one is still good. And I think I actually got, when I got this one, it came in like a, oh, that was a little blob. That was too much. It came in a pack of like four or something. So I have enough of the Stardust one. But I think it's the crystal one I need. Um, there's a unicorn one out there, and I don't think I have that one. Kind of looks fun. I like that. Just do a dollop. Do a dollop. Just a dot of glitter on the little ones. Doop, 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 doop. Sorry, sound effects. 
<laughs> I'm horrible. I don't do well with silence. I don't know if I've ever told you that. I do not like silence. Um, yeah, so when I make these videos, it's completely quiet because I do them at night and my husband's in bed because it, I don't know, I'm still weird and get embarrassed if he's listening to me or watching me talk to myself. Well, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to all of you. But, you know, when we film these videos, we are technically talking to ourselves. But. Anywho. Yeah. All right. We need more glitter. We're going to outline the, the white. Ta-da! Sorry, uh, it probably drives you nuts every time I do the ta-da. And there it is. Our day 19 is complete. Now it needs to sit somewhere far away from me so I don't accidentally touch it and mess it up. I guess. Yeah. It is complete and done. If you're new and made it all the way through, thank you and welcome. I'd love to have you join us, so please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and comment down below. I love getting comments, and um, I will talk to you all tomorrow.